Hola Capricorns, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for August 2023. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get you reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, Game, please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorns for the middle of August 23rd. What are the energies that Capricorns can expect? We have the One of Cups in the upright. Make sure you click click on the video link below for your extra extra in there. I'll have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright for the challenge position um, in my playlist. Your 2024 Sun Moon keep readings continue to come out. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2023s are still in my playlist. Check those out. See if they'll rank, they rank true for you or somebody else. Two of Wands in the upright. Thanks for advice. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. And we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Everything was going great until we got to that last card. So... Um, it, it seems this month there's a lot of love, a lot of personal connections kind of going on, and I'm getting the sense the same is true for you. It was that way for the past three readings. I almost feel like I'm doing love readings. Um, but it looks like energies to expect in the middle of August is somebody that's really fulfilling, fulfilling you, um, somebody who um, fills your cup, so to speak, someone you really enjoy spending time with. This is the beginning of new love. Um, some of you might be expecting the birth of a child um, or be pregnant. Um, but for the most part, this is a connection with somebody and uh, it's it's the beginning of love that literally like, you know, I don't want to repeat myself, but, you know, fills your cup up and runneth over, so to speak. And I always feel like it's really, um, there's, there's a pureness to it just because it's water and it's flowing, you know, things of that nature. Um, so in the challenge position, this is interesting because... Um, the Nine of Pentacles is typically a card of being very independent, um, you know, being very self-sufficient. And I, I feel as though, even though you're in this connection here, I feel as though you might need your space a little bit. Um, maybe this person is always underfoot or they're always around you or they're always texting you or always calling you. And while you pre appreciate the admiration, you guys need to have your alone time and your downtime too occasionally um, and your time to do your own projects and things like that. Um, what works well for you usually is like an interdependent relationship where two people are separate beings. They come together when they need to and then kind of go apart. So but I'm seeing you're finding a hard time finding that, um, you know, time to yourself, that independence that you used to have. Now you kind of have uh, duties in this relationship or responsibilities, but they're a little bit too much and a little too cloying, I feel. Um, the advice is the two of wands and the upright. So uh, believe it or not, what I'm getting from this is they want you to kind of communicate with your loved one in regards to how it's going to be going forward, what your expectations are, what your plans are, what your visions are, things of that nature. I almost feel like they're saying if you don't nip it in the bud now, it's going to become problematic, you know, down the line. And the Nine of Cups in reverse, I'm actually going to hold off on this for right now because this could be a really... Um, uh, this card can go in a lot of ways and I want to make sure that I pick the right way. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling clarifiers to get clarity on this reading. So why is the One of Cups here in the upright for Capricorns for the middle of August? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, Cherry card in the upright is a card of Cancer. And this is an indication to me that um, the two of you have, well, <laughs> I'm getting quite a few things. The two of you have similar beliefs, similar things you want to accomplish in life and that might be what brought the two of you together. Um, similar things that you like to do. Um, I actually got that some of you might have similar interests like in cars and things like that or vehicles. Um, but, you know, I'm also getting from that too, again, that interdependence coming in where you, as the chariot, you like to do your own thing from time to time. You like to do you from time to time. And being in this, um, you know, it, it just seems like it's too much. Um, again, birth of a child, possibly somebody's going to be a mother with the Emperor's card in the upright, but it's still good energies. It's a very caring, very nurturing, um, you know, very comfortable kind of connection between the two of you that you want to grow and that you want to foster. Um, why is the one of cups here in the upright for Capricorns? And we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so um, I feel as though you dedicate a lot to your craft and what you do and your livelihood. And I feel like the other, pers other person feels like you do a little bit too much of that. Um, they feel as though you are 
I have workaholic tendencies and um, being so invested in that takes you away from them and they don't like that they feel neglected they feel left behind so I feel like this could be problematic and the more that you pull away the more that they uh, pursue I feel and and it's just not a very um, equal vibe I feel um, why is the nine of coins in the upright in the challenge position for and I love this card too because there's the cat and the shark. The sharks are circling, and here you are trying to get your peace of mind. And I feel as though that is your lover or the person that you are, you know, in a personal connection with. This could be a friend too. It doesn't have to be a romantic connection. And they're just circling you, waiting until you're done with your me time, so they can kind of jump all over you or chomp on you. Why is the nine of queens in the upright for Capricorns in the challenge position? Who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah, it makes you feel really defensive. It, it almost feels like you have to run away and hide to have time to yourself you're always looking over your shoulder and wondering like you know um are they coming are they coming in the room you know are they coming home i feel like you know you're walking on eggshells um you know because of this i feel like you you feel guilty about pursuing opportunities that you have things that you're interested in maybe hobbies or you know anything like that you almost feel um you're taking away from them if you kind of pursue that and that's kind of a challenge for you and the two of wands in the upright which we kind of see over here is needing to have that conversation with your person um and be like is it going to stay the way it is or are we going to work on change um why is the two of wands here in the upright for Capricorns for advice? Who is this person? What is this energy? Why are you showing me the two of wands in the upright? Okay, they're saying that uh, you're going to have to put down, you're going to have to lay down the law and you're going to have to say, you know, this is how this has to be um, because this is this is my comfort zone. This is what I want. Um, I'm fine to kind of hang out and kind of see how things play themselves out for a little while. But, you know, if my expectations aren't met or I don't get to have time to myself, then that's going to be problematic and I might have to exit um, this relationship. The lover's card in reverse is a card of um, uh, argument, you know, arguing, not seeing eye to eye, um, possibly having regrets for having gotten in the relationship. You might feel that. Um, the lover's card in reverse is a card of Gemini. And the six of pentacles in reverse is saying um, this is an unequal relationship in terms of respecting one person's arrangements or things that are important to them. Um, you're going to have to right that ship, okay? So it does exist. It's addressing it, having that conversation, and having the other person understand and um, where you're coming from. Why is the Nine of Cups here in reverse as Capricorns move forward? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, so it, you're going to bring this stuff up and I feel the problem is going to be that they are going to, they're not quite going to understand what you're asking for. Um, they're going to get really problematic. I feel as though, and I hate to say this, but I, I feel like they're being a little bit selfish, not kind of seeing your side. And when you because they want to come first they want to be a priority they feel they're super important or you know overly important or what have you um and as you move forward as you bring it up i see they're still not going to handle it well they're going to be very upset you know stomping up and down trying to get their way throwing a tantrum if they don't get their way i don't know if you're going to want to deal with that immaturity i'm just going to throw that out there um i do see you here with the five of cups kind of um you know, I, I don't feel like it is ending, but I feel as though you're considering, you know what, um, you know, this is all the damage that has been done. Uh, can we come back from this? Is this a possibility? And being very absorbed with that and wondering if things could have gone differently, how could things have gone differently and taking that into consideration. But I see that with the world card in reverse, um, there, it really remains very open-ended. I don't feel you come to a solution. You're just kind of leaving it and kind of seeing how it's going to play itself out because you don't want to be the bad guy. You don't want to have to assert yourself. You don't want to have another argument or a confrontation is the sense that I'm getting. So that's what I see for you all. If this does resonate, consider a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646 902 5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra. And there will be your love, your career, your finances, and your health. Um, also, a my playlist, your 2020. Oh, excuse me, 2024 Sun Moon readings continue to come out. Uh, put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2023s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or someone else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate. Refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Capricorns, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.